Keeping you informed. This is Inform on WBDC and 18 WJTS. Hello and welcome to your Inform right here on 101 Country WBDC and 18 WJTS. I'm Caitlin Nykum and we've got a very special guest in the studio today from Purdue Extension, Dubois County, Miss Laura Fetterman. Uh, good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Caitlin. How are you? I'm doing quite all right. It's a Monday, if you can believe it or not. And uh, from what I've heard, you're in busy season right now over at 4-H. So uh, we will get into that because that's one of the main reasons that you're here today to really talk with us and really promote 4-H because, you know, we, we ju- it feels like we just had the 4-H fair not too, too long ago. We're already in fall. It's going to start getting cold and snowy outside. So move it. time is just moving way too fast. <laughs> it is. It is. So, Lauren... Can you tell us, you're the um, youth education outreach individual, right? So, like, what does that kind of consist of? So, yeah, um, in Purdue Extension's layman's terms, I am the... (laughs) 4-H Youth Development Extension Educator. And so what that means is I am kind of in charge of the 4-H program, but I can't do it alone. So I have a wonderful, wonderful volunteers that help bring experiences to 4-H, um, to youth about 4-H. And it's really a, um, uh, outside of school educational opportunity for right. youth to connect, feel like they belong, and master like different topics and sparks of interest that they have. And so uh, I am in kind of charge of the program, uh, but I have wonderful volunteers like guiding me, like helping also outreach to youth through club experiences and a lot more to just provide 4-H, um, provide youth with another opportunity to maybe learn that if school is not their thing, maybe they would learn something through 4-H. Right. And again, you really don't know until you've tried it or broadened the horizons on that front. And with kind of what you were saying is you need a lot of help around uh, everything that you do. And that kind of consists of all year round. So outside of our f- yearly 4-H fair, what do you guys do in, in 4-H or even Purdue Extension that, you know, make sure that the 4-H kids have a great time during 4-H week and all of the stuff that you guys do around the year as well? So I like to say that um, most people think of 4-H as the 4-H fair. And Mm I um, tell, I actually told third graders at the beginning of October that the 4-H fair is just a culmination of all the hard work that the youth put in year round to um, and show what they learn through the year. Mm -hmm. And so they can learn several different ways. Um, most people know about the livestock. Those are, that's a year round commitment. Um, but those kids can learn showmanship skills by, um, attending like some open shows or going to, uh, clinics, whether that's horse and pony or the other large livestock to really expand, um, their knowledge about their animals, about the breeds that they have to, how to show better and how to make their animal look better in their ring to show off the great qualities the animal has for the judge. Um, and then actually we have a group of kids that they do enjoy showing livestock, but there's actually a program called livestock judging where mm-hmm. it teaches kids how to look at an animal and judge it based on a set of standards that the breed has so that means they're learning the different breeds they're learning the different standards for each breed and then they learn to how to place the animals but then they also have to provide reasons and so that's where public speaking comes in where they actually like here's why i place this animal such and such um for these particular reasons and so then they go into like public speaking part of livestock judging um so they actually they do some fall things and they um have different invitationals in the next year so 4-h provides opportunities outside of the 4-h fair to gain knowledge whether that's through like a career development event like livestock judging to uh to club experiences where Mm -hmm. they it's youth like clubs there's a president vice president they are the ones leading and deciding what they want to do and then uh it gets into like maybe just one-off like uh project-based uh experiences that they want to learn about so for example 
Um, last year, this pa- past spring, we did Chef University, mm-hmm. where kids learn to cook and such. And I was just talking to the Health and Human Sciences educator, and we're going to partner again to provide that again this spring break Yay. Uh, for the kiddos. <laughs> so that was just decided today. So no details. breaking news. Breaking news. So. <laughs> That's very exciting to hear because, again, you guys make it your mission to provide, of course, the livestock aspect and all of that stuff. But there are crafts, there is baking, there is diorama displays. There is so much that the kids can get involved in. And you guys are constantly looking for new ways to engage the youth, right? Yes. So um, I like to say that there are 80 different topics or projects or interests that the youth can explore through the Dubois County 4-H program. And and a lot of that's arts and crafts. Um, but we've had, we did this past uh, spring about drones. And so we have an mm. aerospace project that includes drones. We have some project-based clubs. Um, one that I like to talk about is uh, clogging. So if your youth loves to clog which is a form of tap dance it's different but it's a form we actually have a club that teaches the youth actually the older youth teach the younger youth the steps and then they uh learn choreograph dance steps Mm -hmm. to a song and then they have been performing at nursing homes and, and throughout the community uh for for the kids to get experience being in front of public. This month, the month of October, you guys are really pushing for open enrollment right now into 4-H and you've been hosting various events and whatnot. How can interested parents and kids enroll in 4-H now that we're in the thick of it and you guys have had all these opportunities and maybe they they have not stumbled upon 4-H yet, but they want to get involved? Yes. So we, um, when I went to the school visits, I made sure every elementary school in Dubois County had a packet of Mm -hmm. 4-H information that went home. We had a 4-H kickoff night, which we helped people get enrolled for 4-H. So 4-H enrollment opened October 1st, and they can actually uh, go to, we use a, what's called 4-H online. It's our enrollment management system, and they can sign up um, at V, the V is in Victor, number two dot number four H online.com. And people are like, oh, it's expensive. Uh, we have a state program fee that's $15 and that covers the entire year. So we run October 1st through September 30th. And then you can, uh, of course, there's some extra fees. So y- if you join the club clubs, for a club experience, they might have some dues, which are usually one or two dollars. Right. And then then the cost of like if you go and do uh, an experiment or whatever for your project and you want to create that poster showcasing what you learned or binder of what you learned, then there's the cost for those projects. But the 4-H experience is what you make out of it. So you might just do the one day event things or you might be part of the club or you might do anything and everything so it's whatever experience the youth wants to have so do you have any advice on how our listeners and viewers can support 4-h say you know i'm i'm obviously a little too old to be in 4-h now and i wasn't as a kid but maybe maybe i want to give back now or maybe we've got some former 4-h parents that still want to show support so how how can we support the 4-h okay so there are several avenues of ways to support 4-H. So first is your time. Is there a topic? Is there an interest that you really are passionate about? And we can provide sometimes space. Sometimes um, we can provide space. We can provide the funding that we need to be able to put on, uh, put on that, um, put on like a short term, like maybe six hours of your time uh, of direct where the youth are there, but we would have a couple hours of planning beforehand or whatever. Um, so you can donate your time. And then it does take funds right. to actually offer a lot of these experiences. So when I say overnight camp, the cost has been for like a, a three day, two night overnight camp, about $200. And so if you're unable to donate time, but can un- donate funds, we we would appreciate it. and when I say we, the Dubois County 4-H Council, so they're my council that kind of advises me 
Um, but they're also in charge of the fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. Um, and so they also provide, um, money for me to provide programming, to provide scholarships so that youth who maybe want to be camp counselors, I want to give you that leadership opportunity. I'm going to help you sit and I'm going to help send some youth to be camp counselors. Right. Same way with, um, we have 4-H trips. So these are for older youth where they actually get to go to Purdue University. But it takes a cost to go on a bus. It takes cost to attend the to attend a trip. So mm -hmm. I am trying to provide like scholarships or provide the funds in order for those youth to be able to participate. So if you can't provide, uh, if you don't have time, you can provide funds and actually, uh, 4-H Council is having a trivia night. And yes. so 4-H Council is doing a wonderful job of seeking multiple ways to raise funds, whether that's for helping me send kids to camp, whether that is to make sure our fairgrounds is in great condition to keep uh, everyone safe um, and for people using the grounds safe for whatever event that they might be out there for. And so they are going to do a trivia night, and that is one way that they're going to be raising funds. Now, they are looking into grants and other things, uh, but every little bit helps. Yes. Every bit, a little bit helps. And then we have our 4-H program falls under Purdue Extension and Purdue University. Mm -hmm. And so we get to work with 4-H at a state level, but also a national level. And so there are multiple ways you can fundraise. Um, we don't have one around here, but Tractor Supply Company has what's called a clover campaign. Um, and you go in there and buy a clover, and that supports that county's 4-H um, program. Mm -hmm. We actually do have a Joann's in Jasper. Yes. Joann's is a big supporter of 4-H. And so they've actually donated... They donated a lot of things um, that we actually used at our kickoff event because we did like a Halloween theme. Mm -hmm. And so we gave we gave crafts as uh, crafts. Kids could do their crafts as giveaways. That was all because Joann's uh, per, from the Jasper store provided those crafts for us. Um, so there is that. And right now, and I believe it goes until November 2nd, Casey's. Yes. If you get um, a large Casey's pizza and you ask for, uh, hey, I want to support 4-H, I believe it's a dollar per pizza that goes back to the 4-H program. And so there are multiple ways. So you can donate directly to Dubois County 4-H Council. Um, that helps support them, whether that's providing funding to help scholarships and kids on trips, whether that's helping making sure we have a safe facility for, ki uh, for clubs and um, for events to happen, and then you can support at a state and national level as, for 4-H. So um, every little bit helps. So even if you just buy Casey's Pizza, every <laughs> little bit helps. For sure. It definitely, it, the flexibility and the the different avenues is just amazing because it does. It takes uh, every little bit. It takes a lot of uh, community support, volunteering, donations, and all of that stuff to give these kids excellent programming no matter what they're interested in, which is just amazing. So, Lauren, how can we connect with 4-H if we want to see what future uh, projects you have coming up? Or again, if there's any uh, calls to action that people want to make sure that they don't miss? Yes, yeah, so we actually have a uh, Purdue Extension. Dubois County has a Facebook page. We also have a website. Uh, so the website, you'll just want to Google Purdue Extension yes. Dubois County. <laughs> um, and that is the same with our Facebook and Instagram. And that is where we try to keep all the up-to-date information on what's coming up. Um, you'll, you can go and see our office newsletter. So I, 4-H is just one part of Purdue Extension. So I have wonderful uh, other Extension educators that do other different types of programming. Mm -hmm. And you said community support. And community support has been so big for 4-H. Um, I really appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to Jasper Engines because they have donated to our camp to um we have counselors to keep everyone safe. We mm -hmm. have uh we give counselors camp or radios, two-way radios. And so 
our the ones previously used was getting really really bad and so they i put in a grant and wrote to them put in a grant application and they provided funding so that we would have new camp radios for the camp uh for the counselors so we can communicate and keep all the kids safe and then farm credit uh, so they've actually supported us several ways i want to thank them so much uh we have like what's called within 4-h it's called junto so it means together mm -hmm. and it's to help our uh latin community latin um uh, latino latina community support them with uh, the resources to help trans transition their youth from middle school to high school and so we like to provide them with uh 4-H trips also. And so Farm Credit really stepped up and provided funding so that we can send youth to 4-H um, Academy and 4-H Roundup. Um, and that's the grades 7 through 9 and 9 through 12. And then they are also a big supporter of the Stock the Trailer event. Mm -hmm. And we participated in that. And as a community, we collected 690 pounds of food um, to donate. And we donated that to Community Chew. And this was all during the 4-H Fair. Uh, collected um, some money and food. And with that combined, 690 pounds of food. And so they, um, based on how much food items you collected we were we were recipients of 250 dollar uh check uh, for our program for do collecting and donating that food wow that we collected there's a lot of community uh a lot of community support there which we'd love to see and it's amazing to hear these uh success stories of how the how this has helped you so far and how it continues to um keep keep the mission of 4-h everlasting but Laura, we appreciate your time today. It's always a pleasure to get to talk to you about 4-H. And again, I always end up learning something new from you guys because there is so many different things and so many different ways that you can get involved or just help out. But uh, for for the crazy month that you're having here in October, we, we appreciate your time and we hope maybe somebody will uh, sign up by the end of the month and we'll get some new 4-Hers around here. No, I, I really hope so. Um, we really appreciate everyone that... Um, allows our youth to have an opportunity because I know there's there's lots of ways that youth can be involved in the community and 4-H is just one way and I really appreciate when parents are like yes this this is a great fit for my kid my kid it really enjoys being here and signs them up and I appreciate all the current volunteers of my my Dubois County 4-H council and for those who are unsure, just reach out to our office and talk to me and we'll see where your passion lies and make sure that where you wish to volunteer is where you get to volunteer. So. Right, right. So uh, one one more final reminder, 4-H open enrollment, of course, is happening right now. You can visit v the number 24 that's the number four, online.com, or we will have this available on our social media so that you can check it out. And it's never too late to sign up for 4-H because it's a, it's a lifelong experience that you'll take with you everywhere you go. But Lauren, thank you so much for your time today on WBDC and 18 WJTS Inform. This has been Inform on WBDC and 18 WJTS. Catch past episodes on our social media pages and our websites. If it matters to you, it matters to us. Inform.